This dust shoe was the first full project I ever made on the CNC. It's made using scrap pieces of acrylic and PVC vinyl for the skirt flaps. There was quite a bit of trial and error with this one, but in the end it worked out pretty well. So this is a really simple dust rod concept. Um, it started by drawing everything up in Adobe Illustrator to scale and then I took those vectors and imported them into a program called Vectric Aspire and that's how I generated the CNC toolpaths. What made this project a little more challenging was I wanted to make everything as see-through and transparent as possible so that I could actually see what the cutters are doing when they're interacting with the different materials that I'm cutting. So there's a total of six tool paths and they're all using a quarter inch end mill just to keep things simple and I can run everything in one pass. So bear with me, these are really dirty cuts. Um, this is my first time ever cutting acrylic. I've already learned something. Um, I used a down cut bit. I probably should have used an up cut bit to expel the plastic chips a little better, keep the heat out and I could have run it probably a little bit faster. So the reason these edges are so terrible and burred up is because there's a lot of heat accumulating, a lot of plastic melting, um, which is okay. It, it didn't seem to affect the final product, but um, a lot of cleanup involved, to say the least. parts are more or less cleaned up finally and uh, one cool little trick you can do is if you torch the rough parts of the acrylic really quickly um, you can clear them up but in the end I would not recommend doing this because too much heat can cause these little stress cracks in the plastic and you don't see them right away but uh, later on when you polish it uh, they become more apparent and it just doesn't look as nice um, you'll see what I mean later on in the video. Here I'm just drilling holes to mount the connector for where the dust collector will plug in to the dust shroud. For the actual shroud flaps, uh, the most durable transparent vinyl that I could easily source was this doggy door flap. And it seemed to have just enough material at the right height to wrap around the perimeter of the part. Here I'm marking the screw placements for where I'm going to attach the vinyl shroud to the plastic top piece. I'm using a soldering iron to spot the holes so it makes it a bit easier to drill later on. I'm making holes where the slits will be to reduce the chances of the slit tearing away from the vinyl or ripping off during a cut.
Next is installing the magnet connectors into the recessed pockets and just using a little bit of super glue and press fitting the magnets in seems to hold them in just fine. So all the magnets are in and uh, I'm just gonna let that cure for a bit. I decided to quickly clean up the vacuum connector on the lathe before attaching it. I'm drilling and tapping a threaded hole for the thumb screw so I can secure the vacuum connector in place when it's in use and also so I can easily disconnect it if I ever need to. And there you go, the uh, magnets will help to home the shroud in place for quick disconnecting, but I think it still needs more. Uh, so later I'll connect the pieces with some thumb screws for a more secure hold, so there's less of a chance of the shroud getting pulled off during a cut. So it turns out I'm a bit worried about this PVC vinyl material. It's just a bit too rigid and stiff and it's not going to flow over a workpiece very well. So to fix that, I'm adding double the amount of flaps to make it a bit more flexible. Also, the edges of the flaps are a bit too sharp um, where I made the cuts, so there's a chance they can get caught on a workpiece when it's flowing over it. So I ended up sanding and rounding the corners of each and every flap so it can move over the material a bit easier. Took a while, but it saves the uh, hassle of it ever getting caught. Next, I got this 12 volt LED ring light on eBay that fits into this little pocket I milled out in the top piece. To power the light, I'm using a 9 volt 1 amp wall wart, which provides more than enough power to light up the ring. And to secure the light in place, I'm just using plain old hot melt. So one last test before we mount it. Seems to work pretty good. And I just love how it looks in the dark. So to mount the shroud, I just screwed the top piece directly into my plastic spindle mount. I plugged the 9 volt LED power supply directly into the spindle relay, so the light turns on only when the spindle turns on. You can see here I drilled and tapped two holes for two thumb screws to help secure the shroud to the top piece so it doesn't get yanked off during a cut. If one of the flaps gets caught in one of the sharp edges or something, um, the thumb screws will help to hold it on and it's not just the magnets holding it together. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the first version of this uh, dust shroud. It definitely helps to contain the dust and it 
significantly reduces the cleanup time, which is great. The only thing I don't like about this PVC material is I still think it's just too rigid. I noticed at night when the temperature dropped, the PVC got even more stiff and I can see this being almost unusable in the winter since this machine is located in a shed outside. So I decided to make another version using a way cheaper, more flexible, thinner material just to see how it would compare to the PVC. This material has a natural tendency to curl up from being in a roll, so I purposely let the curls angle outward so that they would resist being sucked in by the vacuum. I actually really like the thinner material. It's a bit less efficient in capturing the dust, but it's a lot more forgiving. And I can see it being useful when using a shorter cutting bit and you need to get the spindle down closer to the workpiece and there's less clearance and the more flex will allow you to go down lower. And that's about it. These shrouds are just prototypes for now, so I may upgrade them in the future if I come across a better solution. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more CNC projects. If you have any suggestions or better solutions for dust control, um, please let everyone know in the comments. I would love to uh, hear what you have to say. Thanks for watching.